Okay. Hi, Kyoji. Hi. Obviously, you have a ton of experience in MMA at both bantamweight and flyweight. This fight is at flyweight, though. Curious, are, can you divulge if you have any preferences uh, at this weight or up at bantamweight, or do you feel stronger in any particular areas? Mm, honestly, I'm not changing. <laughs> yeah, just uh, um, opponent size. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Gotcha. And again, you're, you're a very flexible fighter, you know, fighting from ring to uh, cage. Uh, you can do it all. But when you look at your opponent, Ray Borg, who also has a lot of experience, um, how do you break his skill set down when you look at him? Uh, he's a look like a uh, wrestling uh, boxing style. So I do, uh, I do everything. So I will show up uh, MMA fight, you know, so. And last question for me, obviously you have a home at American Top Team that you've done a lot of training. You work with Mike Brown, many good coaches, training partners. But for this camp, was there anyone you worked with in particular or anything you worked on in particular in preparation for this fight? Mm. Um, a lot of wrestler and uh, a lot of boxer, yeah, and uh, always uh, I trained uh, ATT family, so I'm ready to fight, yeah. And I'll squeeze in one more. Obviously, you don't want to give away the game plan. Obviously, you want to win. But if you were to, to, to make a guess, does this fight see the scorecards this weekend, or does it finish before the final bell? Uh, um, of course, I want to finish him, you know, so doesn't matter submission or KO, but uh, I, yeah, I will finish him, yep. Yeah. Jay? Thanks very much. Uh, konnichiwa, Kyoji. Konnichiwa. Genki desu. Genki desu. <laughs> Um, you know, this is a fight between yourself and Ray that almost feels like it could launch a flyweight division. Are you hoping Bellator brings it in finally? And do you feel like maybe next fight it could even be a flyweight title? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I want to fight uh, in Bellator flyweight, you know. So I hope uh, they open, open up uh, this division, you know. And you've been a pioneer among Japanese fighters and, and especially coming over to America, training, fighting there. Uh, is that something that you hope to see more Japanese fighters do? I don't know. That's uh, they. T uh, I don't know others. You know, I, I think, I think, uh, move to America is better. That's why I'm moving. You know. So, yeah. I, I hope they, they realize uh, come here more better. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, best of luck in the fight. Thanks very much. Yep, thank you. Dylan Napoleon. Kiyoji, pretty quick turnaround since your last fight. How has everything been going at the gym and uh, everything in general at ATT? Uh, everything goes really good. Uh, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm uh, best uh, fly flyweight in the world, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Zach. That's all. <laughs> Hi, Kyoji. Yeah. I was curious, what advantages do you see in your game when you're fighting at 125 compared to 135? I know. 
135ポンドと125ポンドで戦う違いは何がありますかうーんまあ、ジェストオポネイトサイズ、だつは、MMA ロックルーム。Hey, how's it going? You seem to reach the pinnacle of the sport, becoming champion. Now you're facing another veteran, but you have double the amount of wins that he has and the same amount of losses as him. How do you think that your skills are going to play out this Friday and prepare you for the victory on Saturday? I can do、uh, real MMA. So he's,、uh, he's just、uh, boxing and wrestling style. It's, I think it's a little bit old style. So I, yeah. I think uh, everything. What do you think? I am better. I'm better, yeah. <laughs> Zach? Hi again. I was just curious as you're fighting a very talented opponent, right, Borg? So, what do you think about your style and strengths、uh, make you、uh, well suited for your, this fight and what separates you from Ray Borg? Ray Borg and your style and strengths make you well suited for this fight. He's a kind of old style.、Uh, my, my style is a.、Uh, New generation style. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Kyoji. Thank you. That's all. <laughs>